Hi, good morning everyone. Let's get started with the next topic which is on shell scripting. This is one of the core topic in Linux or any flavor of Unix. This is the heart of the topic. So just make sure that you get conversant with this topic. So let's start a simple shell script. So to write a shell script, what we have seen is we are going to use a VI editor and at the prompt you type VI and the file name. Let's say I have the file name as first script and the extension for it, let's see if it is a bash script or shell script, we give the extension as sh. Okay, if it is a c, c shell, it, we could have given csh. Okay, let's assume it is a ksh or bond shell. So we give this extension. So for cases, it is dot ksh, but for the bond shell or for a normal shell it is dot sh. So what we do is we create a file using vi editor and once we are done with it let's say we open the file and the first entry that we do is that will tell exactly what I am trying to okay so what is that particular entry is we will come back to that Okay, so you can see that hash mark exclamation slash bin slash let's say sh or it could be bash, it could be ksh. So let's look at this file and here you can see exclamation. So hash exclamation and this file entry. This tells the system that whatever prompt you are in, whether it is a C shell, K shell, bond shell, you always execute this particular file that you have in this script, in this shell. Okay, so that is the significance of this. So if we see here, I am running in slash sh. Okay, so this is entry is extremely important. Just take note that this is kind of mandatory for any program that you are writing, any shell script that you are writing. Okay, so this is a one of the mandatory kind of statement and this shell will depend on, it could be bash, it could be ksh, it could be csh, it could be gsh. So it could be any of the standard shell that you prefer working on. So, so if it is a bash shell, you will see the first line is this. Okay, so you will not see both the lines, you will see just only one, only one of it. Okay, so this will ensure that the shell that you are going to execute your program is going to be whatever shell you want it to be in. Okay, so that is about the first most important parameter that we just saw. And second thing is if you take note that when we are writing a program, we have to write a lot of comments and any line starting with hash. Okay, that means that this is a comment. So the significance of this entry is, is you can specify or you can do your kind of documentation in this so that it will tell people who is reading the script that what you are intending to do. Okay, so what, how you have prepared your variables 
how what program you are planning to run what variables you have defined and what is the flow of activities that you plan to perform so comments is extremely important and you can add a comment about when you made any change what changes you made okay who made the changes so all that information you can put under any comment starting with this so this is this line is extremely important which is hash okay any line with starting with hash is will tell the system that this is a comment okay so you can write we are starting our first program okay so we are starting our first program but this will not be executed by system because you will see that this program is starting with hash means it is a comment okay then there is one more way to add a comment in a linux or unix system is starting with backslash and asterisk marks ending with anywhere asterisk marks and this slash so whatever lines you write n number of lines in between the two so whatever is written in between the two so all that bracket is your comment you don't have to write comment here if you use this characters this symbol so this is the starting one and this one is for the end okay so that is about the comments in a linux system next very important thing is how do we echo or how do we put some statement on the screen okay so we use this particular command called echo command okay so using echo command you can whatever you write here so like this is my first script in linux and double quotes close so the output will be that you will get this on the output screen so echo then in the quotes you will have whatever statement you want to echo so echo is extremely powerful command that you should be aware of okay next important command that i wanted to tell you is about the exit command okay so exit zero so this exit command is why it is important because if you are on le loop or if you are you are stuck so there is a path to get out of the execution using the exit command so that is about the exit command so these are some of the very popular commands that you should know okay there is one more way of adding comment in the system is let's say that this is your program you are writing say date this is your command exit is your command echo is your command okay but after this command you can write hash and this is your comment is starting from here so you are executing the command and then your comment is starting so this way we can write the different options in a shell script now let's try to write one simple shell program okay so let me go into this folder okay and there are some files are there so let's say i want to write a shell script okay let's say dot sh and this being a vi editor first thing is you become a get into insert mode 
then type hash after that exclamation mark slash bin slash let's say ksh or bash bash okay after that we will write that the comment that this is my first program in shell script in linux and quotes close okay so this is and how do you echo that on the screen echo double quotes okay this is my first program okay so whatever you echo will be echoed on the screen then if you want to type date you can just say date command okay and if you want to say exit in between say exit zero and just type escape and colon wq so you have saved this but how do you run this so if you do ls minus l for this particular program that you wrote this is not an executable okay so you need to do ch mode plus x okay so we are adding the execute permission so what will happen is that the owner will be able to execute this okay so the plus x is executed so owner has executed right group has executed right and others has executed right so they will be able to execute this program okay now to execute this type dot slash and the program name okay so this file and press enter you can see that you are getting this message this is my first program and the date that you wanted to show so that is pretty much i wanted to cover in this topic thank you and have a nice day bye bye